I'd like to acknowledge on Bridge and Sam's behalf to traditional owners of the land on where we're gathered. This beautiful island has had thousands of years of custodianship across different language and family groups who lived in harmony with their surroundings. All of us who live in Australia live on stolen land and today we acknowledge the ongoing connection to country which Indigenous Australians have. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and in perpetuity. What we are going to do today is celebrate a love which began 10 years ago and which these two believe has what it takes to last until the end of their lives. First, I want to take you back to mid-2012. And a rogue-looking, scruffy outdoors man finds a seat in his first French class at Adelaide Uni. He's fresh from a gap year, his hair just off the bike. Took a hold of me Now you're never letting go Just after class starts, characteristically late, in walks someone who will change his life forever. Bridge, wearing a green parka with dip-dyed hair, is putting her books down at the table next to him. Like he walked out on me Cut to March 2013 in their first date, which took place at the Austral. Remember, it's 2013. <laughs> and after a round of ciders, these two walked across the city to see um, me, actually, at a gig that I was playing. When you're next to me, I'm never sleeping again. My eyes will mess right into me till I can't breathe. Sweetly suffocating me. Oh, when I thought I could roll over all you, finally, I'm so gently. And it's impossible to sleep. There are ways in which, in which Sam's somewhat stubborn nature has been beneficial to us, including in the way that it, it manifests in an intense loyalty to his friends. The fact that after all these years, he has continued to put up with us is a real testament to that. Even at school, Bridget was always extremely passionate, getting involved in every social cause she could. Bridget is exactly the person you want on your side. She is fiercely stubborn, deeply loyal, and has an unrelenting supply of energy. When I see your face, my head's empty, empty, empty. I'm never sleeping again. Their first kiss didn't come straight away, but that same fringe season, after another gig of mine, I was very busy, um, they found themselves sitting on a bench outside of the law school. From that moment, the wheels of this great love story were in motion. If I loved you less, I might be able to talk about it more. In fact, I've not needed to talk about it much anyway because it's always been so clear to both of us that we're meant to be together. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of good fortune must be in want of a wife. Jane Austen had it right. Sam was in want of a wife and in Bridget he has found his feisty heroine. After nine years as a couple, 
which spanned share houses, overseas trips, different iterations of Sam's moustache. They went for a 14 kilometre run together. Sam had organised for Fuzz, Megan, Tony and Arlo to drop off their jumpers and croissants at the end of the run. But what Bridge didn't know is that Sam had snuck the engagement ring into this drop off. And this is why when Sam did ask Bridge to marry her, she had a mouthful of slightly stale croissant. Sam, this is living. <laughs> <laughs> You are my favourite person in the world and marrying you was the easiest decision, the best decision and the decision I have the most faith in. Thank you all for coming. It's just so wonderful to see you all here and those of you who have travelled distances, short, large, all of you coming across the water anyway, it's been really lovely and we're just delighted that you have come here to support Bridget and Sam on such a beautiful, beautiful day. We know this couple and we love this couple. They've grown together and they've grown individually. These two already have the jobs, the house, the masters. Well, Bridge has that. Um, sorry. Um, and the overlapping circles of friends, of which they should both be very, very proud. Bridget and Sam were big fans of the TV show community. The show runners always promised six seasons and a movie. And soon this became the tagline of their relationship. Even though it took 10 seasons to get here, <laughs> Sam and Bridget, I cannot wait to see the movie that you made. We'd really like to thank um, our parents. Uh, thank you so much for your beautiful words, Megan and Tony. Thank you, Mum and Dad, for the unhinged things that you guys did. <laughs> So Sam and Bridge, you may now kiss each other as husband and wife. what you need to do, which is make my life less stressful and easier. Thank my bridesmaids, which also includes Elsa. Shout out to Elsa twice. You guys have been so amazing and I'm really, really grateful. I've been to a lot of weddings the last few years, which have all been lovely, but it really is very different to look around and see the 99 people who were most special to you uh, and just seeing how happy everyone is for us is just really, really special. So thank you all. Sam, these have been the most perfect 10 years, but I'm an inherently selfish being, and so 10 years is absolutely not enough time with you. I promise to grow up with you, I promise to learn from you, I promise to run with you, and I promise to love you for the rest of our lives. 
Toujours. You're so handsome. I find you. I find you attractive. <laughs> As a joke. <laughs> I find you attract attractive even with a moustache. There we go. It's being recorded. We've done that forever. <laughs> <laughs>